All right, if you want to see how to take a regular club and turn it into a copper plated club, stick around because this is the video where I show you how to do it. Right, this is very similar to the nickel plating tank that I made except for a couple additions. I'm including more copper anodes to the circuit so that we can blast the club from all these different angles with these uh, copper ions. So here's the rundown. Copper anode, copper anode, copper anode, copper anode. They are connected in a circuit by these white clips and it doesn't matter what color you use just make sure that they're connected together. So this is connected to this one with this wire. This one is connected to this one with this wire back here. This one is connected to this one with this wire right here. And then when we hook it up to the positive of our power supply, this whole circuit of copper anodes becomes our positively charged uh, side of the circuit. On this side, very similar to the nickel one that we did back there. Um, this is just a rod we have going across the top hooking up to the negative of our power supply. And then this is the hook that will hold the club. 
So then we have, once we put the solution in here, the club, this becomes negatively charged, which this is, becomes negatively charged because it's touching the rod. The club becomes negatively charged because it's touching the hook. Then the positive uh, copper ions will flow from here into the copper solution, finding, looking for a negative uh, source to attract to, which is our club and completed circuit. And then we leave that sit and we'll have a copper faced club. So what we have to do now is make up the solution of uh, nickel sulfate with a nickel, or sorry, a copper sulfate with a copper brightener. And we will be on our way to copper plating. In this pot, I have about a gallon and a half of distilled water that I brought to just under boiling. So right now it's about 180 degrees. I have my copper sulfate, which is in the form of Zepp root kill. I have the Caswell copper brightener. And then in this one, I have just a splash of battery acid. I got this at the auto parts store. I'm not gonna add that to the very end, but that will act as our electrolyte in our solution. Once it's all cooled, then we'll add it to our tank and we're gonna give it a try on this Walter Hagen 8 iron. See how that turns out. In one of my other videos, I mentioned that copper will not bond to bare steel, nor will it bond to anything dirty, it won't bond to paint, and it won't bond to chrome. So I've spent a little time polishing the uh, Walter Hagen 8 iron. I got it here in the nickel plating tank. I just wanted to give it a little bit of nickel on there so that we can um, you know, not be dealing with bare steel. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this little aerator into the copper plating tank. I'm going to rinse the club with some distilled water. And let me grab that really quick, put you on pause. So there it is, there's a polished nickel plated 8 iron. There's some dry spots there, God I hope that's not chrome, because it's not going to stick. But otherwise, you know, it looks pretty good. I didn't spend too much time polishing it, because what I want to verify is that the copper itself uh, will fill in some of the imperfections, because it does build up very rapidly and leaves a pretty thick layer on there, and we could polish that down and then re-nickel plate it if we want to. So, hey man, let's give it a try. I'm gonna transfer over my leads to the copper plating tank. I'm gonna change the voltage down to something a little smaller. I'm gonna go with maybe like a, maybe one and a half volts. I'll show you the setup here in just a second. So I'm going to put my negative on my negative. It's hard to do one-handed down. And my positive. Let me find some room. Here we go. All right. And let's see what happens.
So there it is. There is a copper plated Walter Hagen 8 iron. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. Again, the, the quality of the plating is going to be dependent on the quality of the metal underneath it. Clearly, I didn't spend a ton of time polishing this thing because I was so eager to get it into that tank. Um, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I did spend a little bit of time with the brush plating method to clean up that shadow. I know I need to find a different way to hang these in the solution um, so I don't have to mess with that. Um, I did increase the voltage a little bit. I got to about three volts instead of the one volt or the half a volt that I was playing with earlier. Slow and low is nice, but boy, three volts really made this thing uh, shine up just by sitting in the solution. So I'm pleased with it. I think it's cool. Um, durability, no idea. Uh, clearly, because it's just a club head. But yeah. Um, and again, you can really tell that this thing is copper plated when you set it next to something that is just nickel plated. Look at that. Very cool. I like that. So hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment, tell a friend, uh, try it. Let me know how it's working.